Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well, today I've got another great model kit unboxing treat for you. It's quite an oldie moldy, but a good one and still playable. So now, without further ado, let's go down to our bench and see what's in the box. Today we have a bit of a double review, although it is still a single package. These are the old Night Goblin Squig Herders, as well as a bunch of squigs in the packaging. Now, although the newer models have changed for the Gloom Spike Gits with their squig herds, you could still fill these models in with your army. They are a little older, and of course, there's not a full complement of 10 squigs and two of the squig herders. However, if you want that kind of thing, you're going to have to compile up a bunch of different squig sets from the past if you can still find them on places like eBay and anywhere else. So if we take a look at our first blister pack, we can see, of course, one of the oops, night goblins with a prodder. Let's just get these guys out. Finally, fresh air after being in there for many, many years. We get five square bases, which uh, if you've got round base conversions, those are always nice to switch over. And then we do get our three squigs as well as our um, Night Goblin Squig Herders with the symbols and the poking stick. And again, you can see a lot of neat things going on here. It looks like there's a little goblin or something tied up onto the end of the stick. And then of course our spear point. So let's just move our metal squigs out of the way. Nice little Night Goblin type of guy. Does have herder mounted on the base and uh, very cool nice little flowing cape on there again a nice little model taking a look at our guy with the symbols make able to make a lot of noise really quickly just to get those squigs all moving in one direction again very nice bunch of little hairs off the back you're gonna have to clean up with your hobby blade there's one of our squigs looking very uh, long in his body nice little face on the front Arr. <laughs> Again, very cool models. Just bring this up for more detail. These are older, but the sculpting is still quite nice. And we've got a little guy that's ready to bounce on you. Again, little horn up front on his little squiggy body. Kind of more like a like a frog, this guy. But again, very cool. A little bit of black primer, and you're good to go. Now, this guy does look exactly like this guy. Well, no, not exactly. We got more spikes on the back here, a little more ferocious looking, but again, very cool models. Now, as we look into our second blister pack, this is sort of the alternative from the first one. Uh, and of course, we again get five square bases with the slots in them. I need to find round bases with the slots in them. And we get another four squigs. A little bit different this time. And for squig herders, we've got the guy with the trident, as well as the little guy with the bagpipes. So there's your alternatives there. Now we can just move the squigs off to the side for a minute. And let's take a look at our bagpipe player. Again, nice detailing on this model. He's got a little boot up, and there's the bagpipes. This will look great once painted. He even has a little kilt on the back. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It says herder. Games Workshop 2000. So these guys have been around a very long time in the game, and technically they can still be played in Warhammer Age of Sigmar, if you can find some round bases. There's the guy with the trident, and you can see the nice wood grain in here, and his happy little grin as he pokes on the squigs. Again, we've got the cape in the back. Very nicely done. Now, squig number four. So actually, it looks like I've got a duplicate of, not him, but this one here. So I think the squigs were kind of random in these packages. I have bought a few in the past, and they're all different from one another. And then here we've got another one of the little hopper guys with the horn. See a duplicate of the guy I had before? Yep. But I do have one squig that is a bit different, and there he is there. 
This is almost like one of the ones that the Squig Riders used to be on as well. But again, you have to clip a bit of this away and uh, mount them into one of those slotted bases. Overall though, I do think these models are really kind of cute and unique. They will make nice additions if you're playing the more modern squigs. But again, like I said, you are going to have to find a full set of 10 and then you will have some alternative uh, squig handlers here. And that completes our look at our Night Goblin Squig Herders. And if you've built these models in the past, please let us know in the comment section down below. Also, if you're interested, share your pictures of your models on our Facebook page. And I'll leave the link for that in the description box below. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at the old style Night Goblin Squig Herders. I know they're quite a bit different from the new ones you find today, but you can still play them in your armies. So everyone, until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and happy wargaming and model building.